Teen Titans Go, the movie, Slade. <laughs> when, you, when you see it, you'll get it, Slade. It was, it, I, you know what, that movie was funnier than it had any right to be. I saw the cartoon, you know what, I like Young Justice, I'm going to be biased. I like Young Justice, and I even liked the original version of the Teen Titans, but the goofy, burping, pie-throwing, dancing Teen Titans, I, I just, I didn't dig it. But the movie, yeah, for some reason, it translated into the movie as hilarious. Um, it stars Nicolas Cage as uh, Superman. He, he's not in a lot, but it's Nicolas Cage. He's a big name. Uh, Tara Strong, Will Arnett, uh, he's Slade. <laughs> Rapper Little Yachi as a Green Lantern. Apparently, he's been Green Lantern a couple of times. And um, Scott Minnelli as Robin. Yeah, it, it was it was funnier than it should have been. Um, okay. First off, let me say this: they must have been and a joint project with Marvel when they did this because there's so many relevant Marvel jabs that it seems like they'd be scared they're going to get sued because they mention Marvel so much. They mention Deadpool like every 15 minutes or something like that. Um, there's a sneak peek from a special guest not really a sneak. He was in there a couple times. A, a guest from Marvel show actually shows up in their movie, and I was like, "That's crazy!" And this person was in the movie. I mean, he was actually a Marvel person is in this DC movie, and I was like, "It's kind of cool that they did that." You know, maybe they're actually in talk, talks for. The whole crossover amalgam Avengers versus Justice League thing. That would be cool. But this movie was really good. What, it, what it's about is Robin doesn't think that the team or himself is getting enough respect. But he knows how to get it. The other superheroes are getting respect because they got movies. Superman's got a bunch of movies. Batman's got movies. Eventually Wonder Woman got a movie. Green Lantern got a movie. But they don't talk about Green Lantern's movie. So Robin's like, gotta get a movie. So he's obsessed with the idea of getting a movie. And they're like, you know how you get a movie? You need an arch enemy. He's like, okay, well let's get somebody like Slade. And they, they say it like that in the movie, throughout the movie. Every time he comes up, everybody stops to see how menacingly they can say his name. And that that was kind of funny. Um, they're, they're not ashamed of poking fun at themselves. And, and that was kind of cool. Um, they took a lot of shots at Marvel. I couldn't believe that. Um, but so Robin wants to make a movie about himself and Slade doesn't want to have anything to do with it. He's like, dude, leave me alone. I'm a serious villain and you guys are jokes. So that's the story. The, the um, not so well liked or appreciated heroes have to become well liked and appreciated heroes. Unfortunately, they're going to use Slade as their springboard into the real superhero world. It wasn't bad. Bring Your Kids is a couple of adult jokes, but most kids won't get it. It wasn't that bad. In fact, <clears throat> it was good enough that I'm going to give this movie eight bags of popcorn. Eight bags
bags of popcorn. It was funny. Stay for the end because there's an Easter egg. It's quick. The screen's going to real quick and it's like maybe 20 seconds. But there's an Easter egg at the end. Stay for it. It's there. But I dug this movie. More importantly, did you dig it? Let's talk about it in the comments. And as always, if you like the video, if you like the content, subscribe. And then like. Popcorn passport. Get your popcorn passport. Popcorn passport.